Yes, y'all. This is Legion from the Who the F Did I Marry series with Arisa Tisa. Now, my series is not over with. You should be watching this on YouTube, The Carolina Diamond. Like, comment, and subscribe, okay? This particular video that I'm showing you right now is going to comprise of four. Three of the videos are the content creator who actually found Legion, okay? And TikTok gave her hell. They were mad as heck that she found Legion. As usual, if this video runs out, go to my YouTube, The Carolina Diamond. Thank you. Then the final video is kind of what everybody was feeling when they went off on Old Girl. I'm going to be downloading videos from Legion, uh, Legion's ex-wife, also Legion's ex-stepson. So definitely follow me with this series. We found Legion. Now, if you have been on TikTok, you know that Risa Tisa has shut down everything since Valentine's Day. And I'm a post. I'm a post. We found Legion. We found him. So if you see your boy on the East Coast limping, run. See, and this is why I think it's Legion, right? Because remember how she was talking about in story time? Spoiler alert if you haven't seen it, but he had all this wrestling memorabilia, right? 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 And then remember how she talked about, like, he liked to dress, right? Like, these are some Jordans up top, some WWE memorabilia, a whole bunch of clothes in the closet. It it, it looks a little big. She says she, he wear, like, a 2-3-X, so yeah. And here's the icing on the cake for me where I feel like this is Legion. Hmm, so quick. It's like boom, bam, pow. No breaks before you're back at it again. Is that not your boy? Is that not your boy? By my hair and these backs under my eyes, you know I've been knee deep in story time by Ressa Tessa. And I think I found your boy. I can sleep peacefully knowing that if anybody see this man, you better run, okay? Y'all see a man limping at 6'4 and 6'5, talking about they from San Diego. Run. So I just went live with that little hoe, Danny. The one that uploaded Risa Tisa's ex-husband information and let everybody know who he was. First of all, when I joined this little whole little bitch the whole live, she was talking about a book advocating for black women's trauma, talking about protecting black women. So I asked her, I said, number one, why did you do this? And number two, do you know that you potentially put this lady's life in danger? And to make matters even worse, these coconut head ass bitches that was on live with her sitting up there talking some, well, she put her own life at risk because she's the one that, that drove so-and-so miles to go see him, da 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 You shrimp noodle head bitches know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. That lady got on here and told a story about her love life and did not mention nobody's name. And she made that very clear from the jump. So let's start with the pish posh, bitch. I can't stand when bitches be acting dumb. I asked this girl, I said, why did you upload that man information? This curly fried neck ass bitch gonna say some. Oh, because other women were texting me and they said that, you know, they had dealings with him too. And that's why they wanted him, you know, to be out of. That's why they wanted his information and his name and identity to be known. So, bitch, you telling me that a whole bunch of random ass bitches texted you and you believed them. And that's why you went and found this man information and posted it. I don't know if this bitch is trying to advocate for a book or whatever because she had a book on her life. And she's profiting off of the videos that, you know, she's talking about Miss uh, Risa Tisa's situation. And then the bitch gonna kick me off the live. Okay, bitch. It's all right. It's all right. Kick me off the live, huh? I don't give a fuck. You my motherfucking mic, bitch. I don't give a fuck, bitch. I bet I still said what I wanted to say. And I bet I'm still gonna take you up in your video. Okay, then. I don't give a fuck about that stinking ass live, bitch. I bet you I still reported that page. We've been watching Risa Tisa's story. Now, I'm getting a lot of mixed reviews on why would I expose him and why would I show You have been watching her story. She talked about how, aside from her, he has done this to at least three women. So what if the first wife was to get on TikTok and expose him, right? This would have never even happened to her or all the other women. A lot of times we protect abusers. And I know we do it because we're afraid, right? They've ruined our lives, our mental health, our bodies, our self-esteem, our confidence, right? But I think it's time, right? Myself too. There's a, as a little girl, there's a lot of people in my life starting from maybe seven years, eight years, nine years old who have done things to me that nobody knows anything about. Hey, it's me, the girl who went viral for sharing and exposing Risa Tisa's ex, Legion. Short and sweet and quick. I made a video February 14th when Risa first uploaded it. I think she was up to part 10.
at this point. I had just seen it. It was barely viral. And I was like, go check out this lady's video. It, I didn't know that that video was going to go viral, but it did. In response to that video going viral, I had women reaching out to me. Men in my comments saying, this is his name. This is him. I want to confirm it to me. These other women were also DMing me saying, I want to send you screenshots. How do I send them? I gave them my Instagram. They sent them out. They also sent him sent things out to my email so they could remain anonymous. They also sent me more TikToks, as well as commenting on my page. I go out and post this video until I went on Facebook, searched it, went down a rabbit hole on his page, confirmed that it was him. Now, although the women had information to confirm it, I wanted to make sure my because I thought I don't want to post something and it's not him. Once it was confirmed that it was him, I made a video about it. That video exposed him, but I was asked by other women. I was asked to, so I did. Now, people are upset because they feel like it was Reese's story, and I should have asked her permission. I didn't think about that. In hindsight, I could have done that. But I, after being sought out by people that have also been victimized by him, people who know him, I've even had men reach out to me. I exposed him.